Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical. Now I just want to give you a quick review of the Core Essential Everyday Carry Belt. So I've got a couple different belts here. Uh, we'll get into the meat and potatoes on this here in a couple minutes. Here's a couple things that I think is important that you guys understand with Warhog Tactical whenever we're conducting a product review. So a lot of companies, they do this unboxing or unveiling, or whatever, that's cool. For us, what we do is we're at least a minimum of a 90 day trial whenever we're reviewing equipment. So in this case, when Core sent me these belts here, um, hey man, what's the status of the review, stuff like that, I was like, hey man, 90 days. But then I came into a little bit interesting point where I've got two items. So again, wearing one for half the day, you know, the other. Um, I'll be 100% honest, when they first reached out, you know, this was the belt I picked, kind of this uh, leather gun belt. I was like, hey man, go ahead, send me this one. Um, they ended up also sending me this reinforced one. And I'll tell you, man, um, I really like the reinforced. And I'll get into a little more as we get going. I think it's important you guys understand from my perspective, when I'm looking at my everyday carry, I look at it as a four system uh, entity. So first and foremost, you've got your handgun with your holster. So in this case, I'm running the Walther PDP in this carry concealment uh, in the waistband holster. Got my aim point acro on there. No issues with that. We'll get to that here in a minute. So that's kind of component number one. Component number two is your clothing. So again, when you look at it, you know, you've got your shirt. The nice thing here you can see with this Vertex shirt is it actually has this weapons guard material here, which makes it nice. And then really when you're looking at it, where the position of these belt loops are, to me, that's critical when you're looking at your clothing selection. So again, my Vertex top and Vertex pants works out well. Little spot here if I wanted to add weight to keep the shirt from flapping, just nice innovation on there. To me, the next part comes in, part three is your belt. So again, the nice thing we'll get into these core belts is how they're adjustable. You kind of hear that ratchet system, we'll get into a little more on that. And then really the fourth part is what I dub your accessories. So am I running something like a sock P dagger? Am I using something like a handheld flashlight, spare mag? Whatever your accessories are. So that's kind of the way that I look at the different, you know, four different components of my kind of concealed carry um, outerwear. So really let's look at the, let's kind of do some comparison here real quick, right? So if you think about kind of your average belts out there in the market, you know, standard leather belt, it's got a minimum, you know, kind of these slots here. But again, that kind of restricts me as far as how much I can move and you can see how much they've been kind of worn. So these are my only selections when I have, when I'm trying to get the tightness of this belt. And oh, by the way, if I do need to do something, it's kind of not really covert, but it's overt for me adjusting this buckle to move. You know, if you look at something like a nylon style belt, you think, hey, that's going to adjust a little better, you know, pull it tighter, closer, whatever. To me, I never really found these that I could get them to work the way I wanted to. The thing I like with the core belts is when you look at these, really this, track system you can see it right there that to me is your money maker because you can see those small incremental adjustments and you can hear as you click you can make very minute adjustments to that belt which is really nice and then oh by the way on the side here all you got to do is just push this lever and again comes all the way out in whatever you need so I can kind of discreetly make adjustments to my belt and this makes a very nice feature. Um, kind of jumping right into some things, you know, nice thing is core, especially with this leather one, offers you this protection here. So again, as I'm going in and out, especially with a metal style clip in the waistband holster, it's not gonna mar it all up. On their heavy duty one, again, giving me a little extra retainer strap here because you'll see the way that I wear this belt particularly and again it just gives it a stow point to kind of keep that excess secured. Um, kind of looking at the two different belts here I have. Nice thing with this leather one, um, you can sit there, take it off, put it in your bag. TSA is not going to bat a wink at it, gone through that. Uh, I've also worn it with a suit and tie for a gala type event. You know, it's very nice in that aspect. Um, when you kind of look at the two for, if you want to say at least for me, kind of everyday carry, 
you've got a smaller style buckle versus kind of your bigger one, just food for thought. Um, the other thing I would say with this leather belt that I'm not a super fan of is just how the point is, how they've done their end. I'd rather see it like my old leather belt where you can see it's a lot smaller kind of tapered in there. So that's just my opinion on the construction of the belt. The other thing you just got to be aware of when you're working this leather belt is it's super easy to swap out the buckles. You pull it down. The one thing you'll find with these leather belts is the teeth like to grab the material. So in essence, you need to just put your finger in there just to get the teeth out of the way so that it clears. Now, if you want to swap your buckle out, you can usually go, hey, I've got this buckle here. If I want to swap something else, it's as easy as lining it up, sliding it right in, close the clamp, boom, and it secured the lock into place. Like I said, for the leather, you just got to kind of put your finger in there because those teeth want to grab this leather material. And then once you have it on, just weave it through, boom, and it's that easy. So I'm going to kind of show you how I'm rolling with the kind of um, with the heavier duty one. So for me, what I'm doing is when I weave my belt through, I'm actually not starting in the front. I'm starting in the side because this allows me extra room in the front if I want to adjust my handgun, however that may be. So again, I'm starting over here and I'm just working my belt through the belt loops coming around and now what you'll see is I have all this added space here in the front and again I just come in and listen for it so again I'm just gonna go lightly on the clicks I can put my excess through the retainer now what I'm looking to do is when I secure my firearm I find my spot it's going in there again I'm just bringing my clips over now you see the gun kind of sags a little bit that's fine because all i have to do is just kind of move and and here's the beauty with it on i can adjust the belt i can still access the spot here so if i need to loosen i can easily do that if i need to tighten really i can just kind of reach around the waist boom so that now when i sit there and bring my garment down i'm good to go now let's say for example i needed to do something i.e. loosen or tighten the belt you know i'm really not exposing my firearm i can easily hit the button and release some slack in there so again you can kind of see the firearms coming out if it's flopping out a little bit or if i need to adjust my pants i can pull them up a little bit and then really it's just discreetly and and you didn't even hear it clicking because i was kind of discreet there i've got the wing there to keep sure there's no excess flapping and boom there it is so really guys you know the the thing is in my opinion, when I'm looking at a belt, man, this thing here is super versatile. I can adjust kind of that tightness or looseness as I need be. Um, I'm not doing it where anyone can see it. So I definitely highly recommend um, the Core Essentials belt. The other thing is they offer you is kind of this belt hanger if you wanted to. So again, you could put it in your closet. So the nice thing is you can take off your protector so you don't lose it. All I've got to do is click in. Now I've got the belt there. If I want to put my other one, I could. And then if I have any of my other accessories, boom, they go right there. Hangs right up in the closet. And there you go. So it's just a nice little accessory added with there. When I'm ready to go, can pull off my sheath protector, hit my button, remove my belt, and then boom. I'm good to go. Now... What you're gonna find is when you get these belts, you're gonna, they're gonna be longer than what they are. They're gonna give you this instruction manual that kind of tells you where to cut it at. You'll see the inside of the belts, they are marked on your waist spots that are your waist uh, dimensions there. And really all I did for me, I've seen people use knives, all kinds of other stuff. To me, the med shears work the best and again, I just found that point where I needed to cut at, cut it right across, super easy. So worked for both, if you want to say the everyday or the thinner one, and then also for the reinforced one. So uh, kind of in closing, guys, 
like I said, a couple little tweaks I would do to the belt if it were me. I'd kind of get a better, um, you know, if Core can sit there and do it, you know, versus having it being so tapered, just a little cleaner. And then just be aware when you are taking that buckle on and off of the leather holster, or excuse me, the leather belt, you kind of keep your finger on there just to move it back and forth. So go check them out. Um, again, for more reviews, go to warhog.com. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button, the like button, all that other good stuff. Don't forget, go to warhog.com, check out our upcoming class schedule. Also sign up for our newsletter. Um, that way I keep you abreast of, hey, reviews like this, coupon codes, upcoming classes, whatever we got going on, all things Warhog Tactical. Guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, train hard. Look forward to seeing you out in the range.